Okay, so we're featuring, I think, all trad tattoos today. I think that's the way this one came together. Super fun. Lots of little bangers so, to discuss. This one's from David. It says, here's some faves. Feel free to choose either one or both. Next time, I'll send some shitty ones instead, I promise. Uh, please um, do. We don't get enough of those, and I'm starting to miss <laughs> them. Fresh Rose and Fox Girl done by uh, Jose Barrios at Corner Stone Tattoo, Miami, Florida. Um, the Healed Cartoon Panther with a Pistol was done by Mike Suraz. Same shop. Sorry if I butchered your last name. Most likely. <laughs> so, I mean, like... This rose is, it's got a really trad look to it, but it's like neo trad still. Yeah. Right? Like it really looks like trad though. Like actual old yeah, school. Yeah, like trad. old school, it's but. It's just stylized. I really like it. Oh, I love it. It's I love awesome. the bright red. I love the greens. I think the lines are absolutely perfect. This is just like a well done trad tattoo. I mean, the only thing that I would maybe ask for is maybe some lines in the leaves but i don't know that it needs it like i don't think it needs it i i also think like maybe a bolder outline could have been cool like around the, the perimeter of it because it's all the same line weight everywhere yeah right and i feel like like if you had had a bolder outline it maybe would have stu stood just a bit more but obviously that's a nitpick do we get a different view of this dracula bottle we don't what is that is that coat I don't know. I just see the word Dracula. It looks like a bottle, but that doesn't make sense. We want to see your Dracula. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the rest of all of the... If he's got more trad tattoos like this, I want to see all of them. And what is this... Is that like... what? Pan, is that a panther? What is that a thing? panther with a fish in its mouth holding a, a rifle. Yeah, so that looks very trad too, but it's not a trad tattoo. It just reminds me of like an old sailor trad tattoo. Here we see the... The blue used as a highlight that I've always talking about here. Yeah. That blue is like really lighting this whole piece. Making the white look extra white. Yeah, well, because it's 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 used in a way like a light wash or something or mm -hmm. like I don't know. It's used as a highlight of of a kind. Same as the green and the fish too. Like all the colors in trad were done specifically for a reason to play with other things, right? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, no, I don't know. I think this is really cool. I want to know what that Dracula one is. And uh, I really like this cat a lot. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that thing. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. yeah. I is like that more than the rose, actually. Their other tattoo? This is the other one. This one, does, this one looks more Neotrad everywhere but the, the hair and face to me. Right? Like, it looks... The color palette is still very concept. traditional, though. It's just like a very neo take on traditional but not quite neo trad if, if that makes sense because mm -hmm. neo trad is like like it's usually like the, the crossover you lose more of the traditional stuff right but this still looks very traditional so i really like the way they shaded all that black in there the yeah. peppery finish to it i do too and it's really cool i don't super fun i i feel like this is a a character or like a, a joke or something that I don't have the into. Yeah, me like, too. Like, who the hell like, is this? Maybe why, someone in the why comments. Why are they uh, burying something and burning it? Yeah, it's it's cool though. Like, like, I mean, the only problem I have with these again is like always like they just don't come together. Mm -hmm. Like, it, you could make a whole scene with that thing somehow, but I'm sure they won't. Next one. Yeah. So this one says, here's a photo of my American traditional dodo bird tattoo. Here's a few pics of it at different angles. <laughs> Can't wait for your review of it. Different uh, I angles. Mean, They're all the same angle of the dodo bird, Yeah, basically. that's the exact same photo three times, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, uh, nice dodo bird. Is that Krusty the Clown on his arm and then Lisa up there? Kind of looks like it. And then there's a Gengar over there? We're talking about so, Dodo. Yeah, I know we're talking about the Dodo. We had a Dodo sent years ago on Remir X that looked almost exactly like this. And I don't think it was the same Dodo. I think it was the same Dodo, though. Like, I think it was the same it, reference. Same, same uh, yeah. Pinterest picture. Well, I mean, it's not like a Dodo is something that we're doing every day, though, mm -hmm. either. 
So it's it's a little bit strange that I think I've seen this exact tattoo done twice. Right. Like, I don't... There hasn't been one done at this shop in the last two and a half years. Hmm. So, like, it's not common. It's not common in American traditional. But I don't know. I don't like this one as much as the last ones that we've seen, for sure. It's got some character to it, but, like, this, this is a patchwork sleeve. Remember we were looking at that... Uh, patchwork sleeve that the guy was putting together the other day yeah and it just like i said it just looked too consistent and like everything was too like well groomed almost yeah this one's the right kind this, of mess this is the mess like this is that thing where you're like what is that over there Ooh, what is it yeah little little peaks of things and weird angles and yeah that's kind of how patchwork sleeves kind of came together originally and like they were just organically kind of how mine came together yeah well that's how that's how my legs were so but like i also want to point out a big a big nod to the old 3 a.m photo because thanks for bringing it back we don't get enough of these anymore where it's just like i took a picture i had a playlist going i woke up remy was still on so i figured i'd send him my tattoo I wonder how many people fall asleep listening to your uh, Remy reaction. It's probably a lot more than you think. Well, I fall asleep listening to all kinds of YouTube videos. Yeah, so I wonder well, if you're YouTube one of is those. like a sleep aid. Um, how I about... wouldn't personally go to sleep listening to Remy. I'm far too like, I don't know, ranty and ravey In and the comments, bitter. Let me know. <laughs> Sarah wants to know how many of you guys, you know, have fallen asleep to Remy. Most people probably won't admit it. Admit it. I could see I it being know. more the vlog, though, than the, the reacts. Or Any, even the anything podcast. on the channel. Man, I that podcast know would be if you a good guys sleeping are aid. To it. I'm curious. I, I fall asleep to some pretty wild shit, so <laughs> Kaizo Mario. Anyways, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go with the next one. This one is from Nick Nick. I like that. Um, this is my right sleeve. Uh, it is almost finished. I would love your opinion on it. Love your videos. Cheers and greetings from Greece, from Nick. And again, a crazy patchwork sleeve. Um, there's all kinds of goodness in here. Do we get any more angles? We just no, get the one just angle. the one. It's too bad. There's some cool stuff on here. Yeah, it's not all trad, really. No. Like, it's, it looks kind of like it is, but it... Yeah, some of this is so blorby. But, like... Well, That's, this is like I walked into the shop and I pointed it on the wall and was like, I want that. Yeah, no, this is a really nice looking patchwork sleeve, though. Great. The only thing that I would think is like, and I know they wanted it all black and gray, and I just think a few spots of color would make it look better. Like, imagine if the, the mom had like a bit of color in it. To, yeah, I actually, I like, this is, it's really heavy. Yeah, it's super heavy, like super black. Like a lot of black in here. I like how much black is in here. Yeah, I think if you're going to do like black and gray trad and not have color at all in it, I think you need to do the really hard black stuff mm -hmm. that where it's like, it's super crispy looking. Yeah, and this is dense. crispy. This feels yeah. heavy, like his arm physically weighs more than it used yeah, to. Yeah, super heavy. You know, like this, this thing would weigh you down. That's the way I would want it. The only tattoo on here I feel like really doesn't fit in is that top one the de the demon with the sword through its throat it's like too realistic for this sleeve it's like not a bad little tattoo and it would be fine in some kind of a a patchwork sleeve but in this one it kind of stands out to me well we're only seeing part of the sleeve too he could have more weird uh, but demons. if he has more like that one i don't want to see it because like the rest of them are all like rich blacks and super negative space like yeah. everything is like that and then that one has this like soft black and gray shading in it for some reason right. and it's kind of smooth and buttery which again is a nice tattoo it's just that it doesn't really gel with the super black mom heart and the black flag and that even that weird pumpkin face or skull or whatever next it's to it a, that we don't yeah, get to poison see. apple whatever the fuck it is it looks cool there's like a potion tipped over here with black sludge coming out of it and yeah there's some wicked there's a lot of gap fillers here where it's like i got this weird spot what can we put here you know filling it with some gap fillers whereas i feel like when you cobble together or when you put one of these together on purpose you don't really get those weird gap fillers 
No. Because like you plan out the space, so then you you have things that are all proportional. Whereas these like trad patchwork sleeves, like they really have a cool look to them because it's like, oh well, you have to think outside the box to fill random areas. Yeah. It's like I don't even know what some of this stuff is. And I some need some <laughs> weird gap fillers. Yeah, I don't even know like what is happening down here. There's like a little man in the mist here. Interesting. And then ah. there's like this angel thing, and it's all blorby, and like the face there's is like, like a lighter and a scythe. There is just the so face much cool just stuff. looks like it's just gonna be one big mess at some <laughs> points, but it it fits this sleeve. The puzzle piece. Yeah, that puzzle piece I think should be all black. I don't think there should be any shading in it at all. Yeah. But like, yeah. And then obviously 1961 to 1990 must have meant something. Someone lived and died that time or something. I don't know. Ink. That's what the bottle says. It's an ink it, ink spill going on here. Huh. Yeah, these are like little like fun, like, what is get the what word? Get what you get. Not, not a get what you get. It's almost like a scavenger hunt. Yeah. Like you're just looking around trying to find out what everything is. Is that star me? Or is it just a random... It looks like a star me, but it's a flower. <laughs> I like that you found a Pokemon in this set. Well, you can kind of... There's all kinds of little things in here. No. Yeah, no, this is the way to do a patchwork sleeve, I think. I agree. I really like this uh, patchwork sleeve. I like to see the other side. Also, I want to know which one came first. I would be happy to know which one came first. Yeah, tell us. I want yeah, to know. Which was your first little banger here? And, Send uh, us the other side. Yeah, I want to see the wraparound of the sleeve. And yeah. uh, Do you have any other trad tattoos? <laughs> or is it just this one arm? Mm-hmm.